It's been only one month since I had last covered Google Stitch, the powerful AI-driven code and design agent by Google, and it has gotten already a lot better since then. For those who do not know, Google Stitch is an AI-powered coding agent that helps anyone generate high-quality user interfaces for both mobile and web apps. And the best part is it's completely free for anyone to access. It uses the Google's latest Gemini 2.5 Pro model to understand your design intent and turn it into clean, production-ready code. You can upload images, wireframes, Figma designs, and even other file types. And the AI will instantly generate beautiful, responsive UIs for you in just seconds. For example, here's a prompt that was sent into Stitch asking to create a recipe discovery platform for home cooking enthusiasts. This prompt included a detailed structure to ensure it added high quality UI features and within seconds, Stitch developed a fully functional web app for you. That is something that doesn't look like AI slop. It is something that you can iterate on further with the built-in AI chat where you can refine the layout or style in real time. But even from this first output, you can see how intuitive, modern, and polished this design actually looks. To start off, we have the new multi-select feature, which is going to give you an infinite canvas to work across multiple screens with a single prompt. It's an incredible update that lets you instantly build or edit multiple pages at once, which is going to keep your design consistent and efficient. With this new multi-select feature, you can edit multiple screens with a single prompt. You can hold shift and click and select all the screens that you want to edit. And this is where you can write your prompt once and watch it applied across all of the different pages seamlessly. It's perfect for creating consistent variations or updating entire flows in seconds. By the way, if you're looking to get started with Stitch, it is something that you can access completely for free with a Google account. Just head over to the link that I'll leave in the description below and sign in with your Google account. But to use that new multi-select feature, all you got to do is just simply hold shift and then press control or command depending on your computer. And then you can select multiple canvases and then you can make all the changes across all of the different panels that you had already previously generated. For example, I can say change the color to a lighter shade and then send it in and it will make the changes across all of the different canvases. And you'll see that it is going to also give you a rough estimate as to how long it'll take to make that change on the left hand panel. And there we go. We have the four new canvases that were generated. Four new panels that is showcasing the new color scheme that was implemented. The next new feature is the Stitch Canvas version 2. This is bringing major workflow upgrades with screen resizing as well as with real-time HTML responsiveness. So you can instantly test adaptive layouts enjoy full keyboard controls with undo redo you have cut copy paste and better screen management where you can rename and delete certain sections and a customizable background for smoother navigation so overall this will help you build iterate and design much faster than before before we get started i just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the world of ai newsletter i'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the ai space so definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free next up is a feature that you're definitely gonna like because for power users out there stitch just dropped some exciting news where they have doubled the experimental quota to 200 generations per month so you can explore and build even more without any sort of limits a proper ui to track the usage is also coming soon but for now you can enjoy freedom for creating almost anything with stitch next is where stitch rolled out with three awesome new features that makes designing even more smoother you have variants which is where you can instantly generate design variations at any screen in one click you have custom prompts also coming soon so this will help you build different sorts of variations within the canvas. You also have an organizer where you can automatically tidy up your messy canvases in seconds, and you can even share your canvas with teammates or friends with a simple link. This is probably my favorite feature, but this is something that correlates to the theming, which is now available within the canvas. You can switch between dark mode, different color palettes, fonts, and even corner styles in seconds, rather than telling the AI to switch it. You can just manually do it yourself, and it's all powered by the new experimental Gemini 2.5 Pro mode. You can apply dark mode in one screen and then an entire flow with the shift plus click command. You can also copy and paste to compare multiple theme versions side by side. 
and you can instantly test new brand new styles without redesigning from scratch. Overall, this makes exploring design styles faster and more creative than ever. But what's even incredible is the fact that now you can make your stitch designs come to life with the Google AI Studio. From one free tool from Google all the way to the other free tool that they have, which is the Google AI Studio. And essentially, what you can do is go from a design to a fully functional app in under 60 seconds. The Stitch is the front-end designing tool, and the AI Studio has the App Builder, which can implement other sorts of tools and integrations that makes your app functional. So if you provided the UI designing that was developed by Stitch, you can then have it created with the App Builder itself, where you can design your screens in Stitch, export the HTML, and then use the AI Studio to convert it into a fully functional working app. And the best part is, this is just a manual workflow. A one-click integration is also coming soon. So think of this as kind of like a warm-up, which is something that they state. Already talked about this slightly, but public sharing is also live within Stitch. Now you can share read-only links to any project, and anyone can actually view it instantly. So no login is required. And it's perfect for showing your work, gathering more feedback from your team, or just simply moving faster with the whole design process. In the beginning, it sets a stage for even more powerful collaboration, which is including a remix feature, which will be coming soon. Next is where you can instantly and professionally get a product shot for your screen, where you can now have it so that if you click the command plus C or the control plus C command, paste the image into Gemini Banana, prompt up something like put this screen on a phone held by a person, and just like that, you'll get a polished product shot, which is actually pretty cool because this is something that works with Google Slides, Team Chats, and anywhere else. Your workflow just got a lot faster and smoother when it comes to UI and UX designing, as well as with product implementation for your overall website or UI. Pretty big new update, and this is where Stitch has gotten a huge backend update with their design agent, as it has been upgraded greatly. This is where it's now powered by the Gemini 2.5 Pro, and fully optimized for it. The results are truly insane because there is more creative layouts, richer colors, sharper copies, and improved font and photo pairings. In testing, users overall were able to prefer the new results. And you can see with this video, there's a side-by-side -side comparison which showcases the old designs on the left and the new ones on the right-hand side. I don't know too much about this, but there might be a chance that you will be able to use Stitch and Jules asynchronously, meaning that you can use it within each of the different apps and you can simply have it so that once you have generated the UI, you can just have Jules work on generating the application, the backend for it. And that is something that may be coming in the near future. Also, it's just wild to think that when we do get the release of the Gemini 3.0 model, it's going to be insane to use it with Stitch because you're just going to be able to have it so that you can generate beautiful looking UIs without any sort of front end dev. This is going to be incredible for anyone because you can just simply have that job replaced in seconds with this new tool. Lastly, we have prompted variants. This is where you have more creativity that is going to amplify more generations within Stitch's canvas. So what you can now do is you can guide your design variants with the prompt. You can be specific with UI tweaks like show me different layouts or describe a high level goal like make checkout easier. This is to iterate much quicker and easier. And if you were to prefer any sort of full surprise, you can leave the prompt blank and let Stitch completely redesign the screen for you. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content plus a lot more. But that's basically it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about Stitch with this new upgraded version. It's a lot better, so I highly recommend that you take a look at it. It's not powered by the Flash model anymore. It's powered by state-of-the-art Gemini 2.5 Pro model. I'll leave all these links in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. Make sure you go ahead and join the newsletter. Make sure you join our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos. Gemini has been on fire, so watch all of the Gemini videos. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, folks.